Hi everyone, here I am doing exercise 3.5, 6 question. The chapter is playing with numbers of class 6. And the question is, find all the prime factors of 1729 and arrange them in ascending order. Now state the relation, if any, between two consecutive prime factors. So first we're going to do a prime factor. We're going to find out the prime factors of 1729. Now 1729 is um, also called as Ramanujam's number. So let's find out the prime factors of 1729. We have a different methods like we can go for a division like prime factorization method or you can just do the listing method. So here I'm going to do a prime factorization where we have to take only a prime factors and divide the number like prime numbers and divide the number. So first we have a 1729. This is an odd number. So if this number doesn't go in an even table like a 2, 4 and all. So when you're choosing a prime number, so we have only one even prime number which is 2. So it doesn't go in 2 table. So we're going to start with 7 because it doesn't go in either 3 or 5. So directly we're going to take here 7. So divide 1729 with uh, 7. Or if you can do cancellation, do the cancellation. So here I'm doing a division. 7 to is a 14. So 3 is a uh, remainder. Drop a 2. We got 32. 7 for the 28. Now drop the 9. We got 49. So 7, 7s are 49. So this number is divisible by 7. Okay. So, so 7, 2, 47s are is 1729. Next. Now 24, 7 we have. Now this number. Mm, let's see. The next prime number if you see. This number goes in. Uh, it doesn't go in again 3. It doesn't go in 5. It doesn't go in 7 table. So next we're going to check here is uh, 13. So it will not go in 11, it goes directly in 13. Let's divide this with 13. So 13, 1's are 13. We'll get a remainder here, 11. Drop the 7 here. So 13, 9's are 117. So we got here 19 as an answer. So 19. Next, 19 is a prime number. So, if you see, it doesn't go in any other number. Like it goes in its own table. So, 19 ones are 19. Now, we can able to express this in terms of prime factor. So, 1729 will be equal to. So, whatever prime factors we got here. All these three numbers we should write down. So, 7 into 13 into 19. Now, so we got this. We have expressed in terms of prime factors. So first part of the question is over. The second the asking is the state a relationship. If in if any there is if there's any relationship, we have to state it. And they're asking us to find out a relationship between a two consecutive prime factor. So we have 7, 13, and 19. Now let us see here between 7 and 13. If you see the gap between 17 and 7 and 13 is 6. So if I do 13 minus 7 here, like the two consecutive, right? After 7, we have 13. So the gap is 6. Similarly, if I check the difference between 13 and 19, the gap is also 6. So if you subtract 13 and 7, you will get 6. Now, like I said before, if you do for 13 and 19 also, you will get the difference as 6. So the, now you can subtract it. 19 minus 13 is again 6. So this is a relationship. If you subtract the two consecutive prime factor, prime factor which you got for this question, you will get the difference 6 here. So that's it. I hope this question is clear. This one was a simple one. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.